take a look inside the computer now. This is the front. Remove this thumb screw. Put your fingers in the slot. Pull. Remove the panel. It's important to not have static electricity if you're going to touch anything, so carpet's not the best surface, and you should make sure you're electrically grounded before touching anything. This is the power supply. It brings electrons into the computer. It connects to this big piece, the motherboard, through this set of wires and this set of wires. This is the CPU, or central processing unit. It's what controls the move of electrons around the computer. It has a heat sink, the metal piece on top of it for heat dissipation, and a fan on top of that that connects to the motherboard through these wires. This is the north bridge. The CPU communicates with it, and it communicates with the two PCI Express slots. This is a PCI Express X1. This is a PCI Express X16. The north bridge also communicates with the two RAM or memory slots. They're the yellow slots and only one of them has memory in it right now. The CPU also communicates with the clock generator and it communicates with the south bridge. The south bridge controls a lot of the other devices. It controls the two PCI slots. One of these PCI slots has what we call an expansion card in it now. So this is a device that's used to add functionality to the computer. It controls USB which is on the back panel and also these two cables here that connect to the two USB 2.0 ports in the front of the computer or connected through the south bridge. This is a serial ATA connector. There are four ports for that connectivity here. This one connects to the hard disk drive. The power for the hard disk drive is this set of wires. The indicator light to know if there is activity in the hard disk drive is this yellow wire that's connected to the LED on the front of the machine. The red wire is the power button and the blue wire is for the power LED that surrounds the power button on the front. The south bridge also helps the CPU communicate with the floppy disk drive. This is the data cable for the floppy disk drive and this is the power cable. And it's used for, for parallel ATA or IDE devices like that use this cable here. There's another, another connector here and it connects to the CD drive or compact disk drive here and this is the power cable for it. The south bridge also communicates with the ethernet chip. There's a port on the back of the computer for network connectivity and this is the chip part. And the south bridge communicates with the Super O chip, and that stands for import out port. The Super O chip is for the floppy disk and the serial and parallel port on the back, and also parallel port. And here are the keyboard and mouse ports that it connects. The south bridge also is used for the audio chip and I'm not sure where that is on this board and it's used for the CMOS memory there's a BIOS chip for some of the low level functions on the computer under these cables that you can't see this is the CMOS battery which helps the computer to keep time while it's turned off